All right, happy Monday, everyone. Hope uh, your Monday is off to a good start so far. You're going to get ready for the changes on the way for the weather. Yes, we're going to be dealing with a storm system passing to our north today and into tomorrow. All the precip, unfortunately, going to be making its way through Colorado. And for us, we get another round of wind. Here's a look at the red flag warnings that are posted for this afternoon. Of course, with the wind coming on their way late this morning and into the afternoon hours, as well as the warm conditions we'll see later today and the dry air in place. Well, it's the ingredients you need for fire dangers out there. So red flag warnings across much of the northern portion of the state, the exception being the northern mountains where we still have a little bit of snowpack, and that's helping reduce the fire danger there. 38 degrees, the current temperature, a southeast wind at 5 miles per hour. Temperatures across the north, mainly in the 20s and 30s, although areas like Taos and Overtour Grant starting off in the upper teens this morning. Down to the south, we're looking at temperatures mainly in the 30s, although Ruidoso at 41 degrees. We'll likely see the temperature drop there a little bit more before we eventually warm up into the daytime hours. A few clouds streaming their way across the northern portion of the state. A lot of this high cloud cover, so it should make for a very nice looking sunrise later on this morning. These clouds associated with the storm system that will be passing to our north. You'll notice there's not a lot of juice associated with this storm system, so not a lot of rainfall or snowfall, but what snowfall that does develop will go through central and northern Colorado and again that'll leave us with the wind throughout the afternoon but it will be a warm afternoon of course with those warm conditions and the wind we will be looking at that elevated fire danger throughout the day today with mostly sunny skies then tomorrow as that storm system moves out we'll start ushering cooler air on the back end of that storm system so temperatures will drop as much as 10 to 20 degrees across the entire state for your Tuesday and the winds will start to come down through Tuesday afternoon as well. Then on Wednesday, we'll be looking at a fairly nice day as temperatures do start to rebound a bit. We'll especially see those temperatures boost back up Thursday and Friday. And the dry air stays in place through the rest of the week. So we're looking at lots of sunshine to wrap up the week and even make our way into the weekend with a very nice looking forecast as well. As far as the winds go over the next 24 hours or so, that's when we're going to be looking at our wind concerns by this evening. We'll be looking at pockets of windier conditions across the west central portion of the state baking its way into the metro area throughout the overnight hours and we'll continue to see some sometimes windy conditions across the east through tomorrow morning but by the time we reach tomorrow afternoon and Wednesday the winds do come down quite a bit and we'll be looking at a fairly quiet end to the work week. Southern Colorado temperatures into the 50s for this afternoon winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour will drop to the mid 40s for Tuesday before rebounding back into the upper 50s for the end of the week. Over the northwest, blowing dust will be a concern with winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping back to the upper 40s for Tuesday before rebounding back to the low 60s for the end of the week. Over the southwest, mostly clear skies, winds gusting to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures will be warming back up toward the end of the week, mid-70s for Friday and the weekend. Over the southeast, sunny and windy, winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures near 80 today, but dropping by about 10 degrees for tomorrow. We'll eventually see the 70s return for Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Over the northeast, blowing dust with winds gusting up to 50 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping to near 50 for Tuesday before back to the mid-60s for the end of the week. Over the northern mountains, sunny and windy, gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures drop to the mid-40s in Santa Fe for Tuesday, then back to near 60 for Thursday and Friday. Over the east mountains, blowing dust with winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour. Temperatures in the mid-60s this afternoon in the metro. We'll top out in the upper 60s to low 70s with winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour, especially as we approach the evening hours. Then behind that storm system, we do start to see those temperatures drop. We're back into the mid 50s for Tuesday. Winds come down throughout the day on Tuesday as well. Then toward the end of the week, we're dealing with less wind and temperatures back to the upper 60s. And right now, the weekend looking very nice as well with temperatures in the mid 60s and lots of sunshine. And right now, the way it looks, not much wind either. Kind of just like yesterday. Yes. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. Yes, Thank it was. Thank you, Mr. Smith.